All right, welcome back. I love these Seller Central tutorials. These are always a lot of fun to do. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite topics. This is how to ship to Amazon FBA by air from China or a warehouse. You know, before we get started, I'm gonna, I wanted to save you a little time because I don't want you hopping into this shipping queue only to realize that there's some extraneous piece of information that you're missing. So I wanna go through a checklist uh, up front just to make sure that you have everything to complete this successfully in one shot. So that sounds good. Let's hop over to the blog for a second. We did a written uh, version um, of this and uh, you can check this out at honestview.com. But es essentially, we go through everything in detail in writing. Um, so I'm gonna use the same checklist from that. The first thing you need is obviously a source product. At this stage, if you're watching this video and you're interested in shipping product um, to Amazon FBA warehouses, your product should already have been sourced. Uh, it should have been paid for and it's sitting at the factory or at a third party warehouse and you're just wondering how to get it from A to B. You know, how to get it from the supplier to Amazon's warehouse so that it can start selling, so that you can make money. A UPC, a universal product code. If you haven't already, you should have created an Amazon listing uh, for your product. That is needed um, to tell Amazon, okay, well I have this listing and now I'm gonna ship units of this listing to your warehouse. Got it? So you need a universal product code if you don't have one already. Essentially, universal product codes or UPCs are universally recognized codes for products. <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can get them at Nationwide Barcode for $7 each. Uh, it basically is a code that you give to Amazon and it tells Amazon that, uh, yes, you know, this is, this is a brand new product. It hasn't been sold before. It has a unique number. And then Amazon in turn assigns you an ASIN, an ASIN. Uh, which is your Amazon kind of version of a UPC. Um, so yeah, you should have that. You should have an Amazon listing, um, which you, you make listings using barcodes. I think, I've, I think I beat this one to death. So anyways, uh, the number of units and cases that you're gonna be sending to Amazon. Uh, how many units, pretty self-explanatory. In this example, we're gonna do 100, but you know, you could do 500, you could do 1,000, you could do 5,000, it doesn't really matter. So you need to know the number of units and also the number of cases that those units go in. So obviously you're not shipping um, individual products to Amazon warehouses, you're gonna put a few in a box, most likely, unless they're huge and then you're gonna ship those cases to Amazon. So this depends on a few factors. Uh, your supplier should have an idea of what is a cost efficient um, unit to case ratio. So are we putting 50 uh, units in one case? Are we putting 100 units in one case? Um, Amazon has a rule that I should tell you right now that uh, you can't send more than 150 units uh, in a single case anyways. So um, if you're sending more than 150 units, uh, you need multiple boxes, uh, each with 150 as its max. Uh, you should also know the weight and size going into this. So you should know uh, the weight in pounds and the dimensions in inches of each box that you'll be shipping. Yeah, so your, your supplier should know this information or if you're shipping from a warehouse, uh, just ask them. And you also need to know the sending location that uh, the products are gonna come from, whether it's your house because you have the product and you need to ship it to Amazon or whether you're shipping directly from your manufacturer, um, you need a sending location. So if you have these five things, then you are 100% ready to get into the shipping workflow. If not, please pause this video. Please bookmark this, like, and subscribe. Um, but come back later when you have this info and uh, you know, I'll still be here. We're cool, right? So anyways, if you have these five things and you're still listening, let's get into it. Let's go back to Seller Central, beautiful Amazon Seller Central, go to inventory and then manage inventory. Ooh. Uh... Sorry about that, guys. Okay, this uh, this video is gonna go on hiatus for a second while I jump over some cactuses. Oh man. Okay, so we went inventory, and then we went manage inventory, and now we're here. We see all of our products on the left, pricing on the right, and on the far right, you'll see this edit button with uh, two up and down arrows, and it's the up and down arrows that we wanna click. So click that and then go to send replenish inventory. And we are being transferred. Okay, so send and replenish inventory. There are three things that need our attention here. Create a new shipping plan. Yes, we're doing that. Um, I have a default address here that I used the last time that I shipped something to Amazon. Um, if this is your first time, you'll probably need to enter a brand new address and that's pretty straightforward. Packing type, what's this? 
you have two types of product packaging, uh, individual, so you have one box or case and then a bunch of different SKUs inside, or you have one box and all of the same SKUs inside. Now, if you're private labeling products and you're you know, making a single product and a lot of copies of that product, you're probably gonna do case packed. So for, for most of you, I, I will go with the majority here and uh, go with case packed products. So let's continue to the shipping plan. This is the famous, all time famous shipping plan. There are six steps in it. And uh, you'll see that this uh, orange little triangle will move across uh, to the right. And by the time you get to summary, you're done. So here we're gonna set the quantity. And so this is why I specified at the beginning that you do need some of your numbers uh, ahead of time or else you're gonna be stuck on the screen. So the number of units per case and the number of cases, right? Okay, so how many units uh, per case. For the sake of argument, let's say that we're shipping 100 units and our supplier has told us that it's most cost efficient uh, to ship two cases of 50 uh, units each. So we have uh, 50 units per case and we have two cases and the numbers multiply out that way. Uh, it's possible also that we would be advised to do just one, right? One, one case of 100 units will equate to the same thing. Uh, but for the sake of argument, say these are medium sized products and you know, 50 of them in one case is, is heavy enough as it is. So you need to break it up for cost. Uh, then we do that. So again, going with the majority, this is a very typical example. Uh, we'll do that. Continue here. We're in the prepare product stage. So we're going to go to all products. Our product is here on the left. And, uh, this is an interesting one, right? Because, uh, you know how I said that each product has uh, a UPC, right? And then Amazon recognizes that UPC and assigns each product an ASIN. Uh, so in line with that kind of workflow, when your product arrives at an Amazon warehouse, um, it needs to get scanned or it needs to be s somehow recognized right by the Amazon fulfillment center staff uh, so that it can be properly sorted, stored, and then later shipped when you sell an item. So um, in line with that, who preps these Amazon labels? Is it you, is it the merchant, or do you want Amazon to do it? Uh, now, uh, let's say, for example, that uh, it's merchant, which means essentially that you, the merchant, or your supplier, it doesn't matter, but someone on your end uh, is gonna be putting 100 individual product stickers uh, onto the 100 units. So uh, for the sake of argument, let's go, go with that. We can change it here. Um, so here we have our product. And uh, we have 100 units of our product and we have who labels the merchant and you can also get a quote from Amazon here. Um, if you don't want to label your products individually so that they can be recognized and scanned at the film center, you can have Amazon do it for you. That's no problem. 20 cents a unit, $20, not a huge expense, save you some time. I recommend it. But um, if you're wanting your supplier to do it or you want to do it, uh, cause it's your first time and you want to get a uh, feel for it or something, or you love labeling. I don't know what, anyways, you'd click this and then it downloads a PDF document with a hundred unique, uh, product labels. Yeah. So they'll come as a uh, PDF document. You'd cut it up and affix the labels to the product somehow. Um, okay. So let's say we did that. And now we're in review shipments. I mean, we're, we're almost done. Another important thing to note is that Amazon will specify the warehouse locations that your product will be shipped to. You don't get to choose. Uh, there is an option where you get to choose, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go with the basic shipping workflow here. So Amazon has decided that we have one case of 50 units going to PHL 7 and one case of 50 units going to ONT 2. These are code names um, for Amazon fulfillment centers. So there's not much to do in this step. You just need to approve the shipments. Okay, great. So now we're gonna work on each individual shipment, put in some numbers and then wrap this up. So each row here is a shipment. Well, let's work on the PHL 7 one first. Okay, cool. So we've got a uh, little, little questionnaire here, a little, little questionnaire, small parcel delivery. If you're not shipping pallets, it's gonna be SPD. Um, pick your carrier, DHL, why not? Love DHL. Um, how will the shipment be packed? Everything in one box. In our case, because there's not there's not multiple boxes uh, in this. There's just there's just one box, one case. Um, so here we have uh, shipment 
content. So we have our product off to the left, the shipment quali quantity of 50. Remember that the total quantity that we're shipping is 100, but we're working on one individual uh, shipment uh, right now. And the other shipment we'll work on just after this. So uh, the box weight, this is again, at the very beginning, the checklist, I, I needed you to get the box weight. So we'll get 25 pounds, 10 by 10 by 11, confirm. Shipping labels. This is where you get one big box label to stick onto uh, the box, the shipping box that you'll be sending to Amazon. Uh, by clicking this, it will download, again, a PDF document that you will print out and affix to the shipping box as a whole. And, uh, and that's it, complete the shipment. Okay, great, so here we have a, a summary, right? And um, this allows you to track your uh, package as soon as you've shipped it. Uh, we haven't shipped it yet, but you can mark it as shipped uh, when it does, and then you can enter a tracking number that say DHL would have given you, and then you can check back here in the shipping queue in Seller Central, and it'll update you on the status of the package. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, here also, you see you have access to the exact shipping address of the fulfillment center that this shipment is going to. We've attended to one shipment out of two. We have 50 units accounted for, so now we can go and click work on another shipment. So you see this one's done, it's in its tracking phase. Uh, so now we need to work on the shipment that's going to ONT2. Isn't this fun? Okay, so same, same as before, SPD, DHL, everything in one box. Uh, 25, 10 inches by 10 inches by 11 inches, because assuming they were they were the exact same 50 units. And uh, confirm. Great, and again, you'll want to download this box label because this will actually have different information than your other one. So click this, it'll download as a PDF again. So you can either print it out and affix it to the box or you can send it to your supplier. But in any case, you need these. So make sure you grab it. And uh, yeah, and then complete shipment. And again, we're in our tracking phase. We don't have a tracking number yet, but we can come back and enter this later. And we're done. And you'll then be able to see a collection of all of your shipments uh, from most recent uh, to least, or oldest, or whatever. So here are the top two rows, you can see. These are the ones that we just created uh, here on July 12th. And you know, right now, you're able to track uh, so you could enter a tracking number and then start tracking and eventually the status uh, will change from ready to ship to shipped to receiving um, and eventually uh, to close to finish when you've uh, sort of um, finished your uh, thing and the inventory has arrived at Amazon. So I hope this was useful. Leave a like and subscribe to the Honest View YouTube channel if it was. Uh, my name is Patrick. I work with Honest View to launch uh, physical products on Amazon. We get sales and reviews for Amazon listings. So uh, the second this inventory touches down, if you'd like a partner to get reviews with and to sort of uh, get your product off the ground and selling, uh, we're here for you. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.